What's going on, YouTubes? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Last workout of the week. I'm doing this on a Saturday morning here. About to head up to uh, the high desert. Have a little cookout. Have a barbecue. Eat some good meats. Get the protein up. But first, uh, I had to finish up the last day of the week of the uh, small off junior here. So today was the 10 sets of three repetitions. Again, I will put the uh, link, or not the link, I will put the list of exercises from today in the description. Uh, I've done that for every video so far. So if anyone wants to follow along with these workouts, uh, I don't know. For some people, it might be a lot of volume. For some people, it might not be. But so far, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the new split. I'm happy with the backyard gym. Everything's been going well. Uh, if you pause this video and look at my uh, stomach, I whipped myself with the jump rope early on. It's cool. I got some nice uh, Memorial Day weekend welts on my abs. Huge news. Strict shoulder press. We're back in business. I am so out of form with these. My right shoulder is still clicking all over the place, but there's no pain. It feels like we're uh, we're falling back into a good groove. And having not done anything strict and controlled for high reps in a while, I got a crazy shoulder pump, which made uh, squats difficult later on in the in the video. But I was just taking uh, taking forty five pounds for a ride, ninety five pounds. I only worked up to 115 today. Um, I haven't done strict shoulder press for reps and sets in a while. Everything in CrossFit is always a jerk, uh, a push press, a jerk, you know, utilizing the front rack, utilizing leg drive, which is great. And it's, I'm not knocking it, but there's a difference between isolating. Oh, there you go. There's my uh, there's my jump ropes jump ropes slash there uh, between isolating the delts and just getting the weight overhead and locking it out. So this is this is hard at the moment. Uh, good pump though. Nothing like a Saturday morning shoulder pump to get you going. So I worked up to one fifteen and then worked my way back down. I think I only did three or four, three or four sets, eight to ten repetitions, but it felt good. I'm, I'm, my my shoulders have taken such a beating at CrossFit, and, and not in a good way. They haven't grown at all. They've done the exact opposite. They've just gotten hurt, uh, become un imbalanced, and shrunk. So I'm excited to, uh, excited to grow them back healthily. Uh, like I said in the last video, I'm really going to emphasize a good hip warm-up. So here I was just doing some controlled hip raises here. Uh, the key is to try to keep your leg in what would be the, the bottom of your squat. So keep the toes dorsiflexed, drive the knee up, try to control it on the way up and down. I did both legs here. Believe it or not, this looks easy. I got it. Again, I got a good pump in the hip flexor. Just get some blood flow in there and get it ready for the squat. I found it much easier to control my right leg up and down through the, through the motion uh, and struggled with the left leg. And if you watch my last video, I can link it above. If you watch my last video, I was complaining about pinching and some funky feelings going on in the left hip flexor, left groin. So sounds like I got something going on in the left groin. Sounds like that, that hip flexor adductor, adductor complex is, uh, is weak. But hey, that's what we're working on, you know, we're getting it done. Uh, back squats today, they didn't feel great, but they look pretty good. Uh, I was having a, an easier time engaging the glutes and and, uh, and uh, rotating the hips a little better at the bottom. I wasn't getting as much pinching in the in the left hip. I love the the three rep. I got right into it here. I, you know, I, I cut out a lot of warm-up sets, but uh, this is 270, and I take it for, for 10, 10 sets of three today. It looked slow. It felt slow. 
but it looks good on video, so I'll I'll take it. I was working on uh, keeping my chin tucked, keeping good alignment. I wore the knee sleeves through the through the whole workout today. No, this this felt good. It also feels good that my shoulder is loosening up and I I can get into the position a little bit better. On Monday, you know, we get back into it, uh, a six by six, which six repetitions shouldn't shouldn't feel like a lot, but it uh, it's cardio, you know, for squats. Six reps at this point is is that's uh, a lot of squats, uh, and I think the weight goes up. Last week I did two twenty five for six, which wasn't too bad. I think this week I have to do 240 for six based on the small off program. Remember, it's only a three-week program, so the weights go up every week. The repetitions and the sets stay the same, but the weights go up every week. So, you know, I'm happy. I'm excited to take you guys on this, uh, this small off journey with me. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to back small offs. I might. Uh, I might switch to front squat after this. But I do want to get some crash pads for these. You know, especially the, the more squats you do. I, I feel comfortable in the back squat. You know, these weights aren't too heavy. But with the front squat, you never know when a, when a position change or a wrist might tweak or whatever, and you have to dump the bar. I don't want to dump it on this back patio, so I'm, I'm going to get some crash pads going forward here. I have no problem walking out under the bar. I, I just I'm more worried about the the integrity of the patio. I don't want to. I don't want to damage anything. That was it. Last set. Felt good. And then uh, after this, I hopped on the GHD. I haven't figured out this GHD yet. I, I can't get the full range of motion. I don't know if I don't have the... Uh, this isn't the Rogue GHD. It's a different brand. Legend. It's a ridiculously expensive piece of equipment. I looked it up online. I got it off Craigslist, but it's nice it, it adjusts really well everything i just i haven't figured out the right distance for myself yet i feel like my legs are too straight also i feel like the the foot pads are different than the rogue one they're further apart so you can't lock in your legs as good maybe it's built for giant people like i said earlier it's 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 very tall so i'm having a hard time getting the traditional crossfit jhds on this went with some side bends this is a struggle. I am awful at these. I felt a little bit better. I, I set my sights lower. I only tried six to eight repetitions. But my body is so weak in this in this position. Um, I'm just going to keep hammering away at them. Try to, uh, try to get stronger at it. But it just feels crazy. Uh, I'll be back at it again next week. Four videos. Keeping it going, people. Keeping it going. Like and subscribe. Give me some comments. Critique the form. Um, I think I hit some triceps after this. I'm so excited to get some proper upper body training in. My pecs and delts, everything, is, you know, everything has shrunk up so much. And uh, like I said, it's all become imbalanced, out of balance, and... and less healthy so i'm excited to to get things back on track i had to cut the video early my camera burnt out here 10 sets of 10 sets of three took a while so camera burns out these triceps are good i love this cable system but uh i hope everyone has a good memorial day weekend Get your meats in, get your protein up, get out there in the sun, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.